All right, YouTube, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about joystick repair. Now, this is just the basic video game. It's in my basement, but all the joysticks of the 80s are pretty much about the same. Uh, this will be the same type of, of situation as the Pac-Man, the Galaga. Everything's just kind of a ball, and uh, I'll show you what's underneath. So, in order to access the panel uh, for any joystick of your arcade game, if you've got one in your basement and the 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 movement stuck like the pac-man's going right all the time instead of let you know that sort of thing it's real simple you go underneath the coin door and then over here inside the game where that little bolt is and there's usually a bolt i'll show you what's inside there's that that little thing and it hooks into this so all you have to do to release it is just kind of lift up this tab and get it off of that hook same way to put it back in. This one has one on either side. So usually there's one here and there's one here. Sometimes there might be one here, uh, but that's rare. So let's just turn this uh, joystick upside down. Now basically, here's the way it works. If I move this up, I'm hitting this button right here. Excuse me, right here. And so this is the push button type micro switch. Usually has a big plastic ball or a square, and then when you push that, it hits the buttons. I'll get a close-up. See where, where I push it to what would be my left? It hits that button, and it's reversed because when you look at it on top, you're moving it to the right. Uh, so that would be left, and then the right would be over here to move it left. The up would be down. I know that's kind of complicated, but the down would be up. Because you got got to look at it this way. Look at it this way. When I push this down, it's hitting on the up button. All right, so let's look at the buttons real quick. I'll try to get this to stay. The buttons are very simple. It's just a micro switch with this red button right here where my thumb is. That little red button. This is a comm, uh, which are normally open. Uh, sometimes you can hook it here for the colored wires that are coming from the PCB board. And on the pinout, you'll see up, right, down, left. Uh, now, if, uh, if the game has a different type apparatus, it might say something else. But 99% of the time, you're just dealing with an up, down, right, or left. With Pac-Man, you're dealing with a left and a right. Uh, with Galaga, you're dealing with the same thing. Uh, so... Uh, what you need to look for if if something's stuck you need to look for if it's pushing this button down the whole time and not moving away from it or if there's wires loose and all the wires that would be connecting would be these two right here and that's normally open so you, you when this plastic it's very simple when this plastic hits this red button it closes this switch and that way it knows to move the character of the game in the direction that this or however this is wired now you can wire this any way you want to this could be left or right or whatever but as long as this this wire is going to the up or to the down you know it'll move it that direction left and right will move it in that direction so that's the way these work so if you've got a character that's not moving or stuck in one direction just check these wires so if it's stuck in the right direction then check this one right here. If it's stuck in the left direction, check this one right here. So you just use common sense with, with whichever direction it is. If you have to replace the whole joystick, they're standard arcade joysticks. I'll put a link below down at the end of this video where you can get a replacement joystick for virtually 99% of all the 80s games. Now, in very rare cases, in an early 80s game, you might have a switch that looks like this. And all that that is it's just when the button's pushed, I'll zoom in on it, you'll see that these the contact is made. When I push this button, see how that contact is made? And that is the way that those switches work. And again, it's just the common, and then uh, in this case, it's a fire button or a pass button or whatever it is. So you just have to look and see what wire needs to go to this particular button of your game. And if it's not working, 
then then look at this situation look at the wires make sure that it's connected if something's broken if this isn't making contact sometimes these on the leaf switch micro switches these get a little dirty in here because they make contact and it kind of usually has a little spark with it so you get a little piece of sandpaper and get inside here and kind of clean it out and then make sure that they're connecting when you push the button so that's basically all the buttons uh, underneath the joystick game uh, and how to troubleshoot them uh, definitely you can take sandpaper you can clean them you can make sure these work if these don't work then the two screws hold it in one right here one right here you take the screw out you put the new white button in screw it back down and undo the wires and then plug the wires back into those terminals common and normally close i hope that solves your joystick problem